All right, today we want to talk about the installation and usage of the FineNut PEPS digital gauge system. Well, the digital gauge system consists of these four pieces in front of it. Yes, there's a fifth piece, but that's how you would want to put it together. First, you remove this piece, which is the nipple, and you want to use Loctite Red on this thread because you never want it to shake loose. And you want to put it in and screw it all the way to the end. Now, if you can't screw it all the way to the edge and there's a gap there, which is totally fine because the gap do not hurt the system. What you need is that you want to make sure it's consistent. See, it's got a gap there that do not hurt. And in some cases, because it's threaded more in, you're able to do it all the way in. And then, of course, rock tie right here and you put it together. The reason you want to use Loctite Red because if you install the digital gauge with the vibration module, every single possible lock system will be disabled. And this is the thread that will come through. See, there's a hole right there. And there is how you do it. You can use a coin. A quarter will do the same job. So it fits perfectly. Now when you screw this in, make sure you're screwing all the way. Not halfway, but all the way. Okay, as this go in, you notice there's two screw here. And there's two O-rings. That's for Fanny from popping up. So you mount it to the back of the PAPS tower and you will look exactly like this. And after you put it together, this is what it will look like from the back. Okay, in order to use the PAPS, you need to understand what we are trying to accomplish with this equipment. This piece of equipment is to give you to find an arrow that has an unknown spine. That means you've got an arrow that's no less than 28 inches long. The reason it has to be 28 is because that's the only known standard. Now, the, we also, well, the digital gauge system also includes this piece of weight. This weight plus the pressure of this pin, plus this entire plate, plus the three screw, the three stainless steel pins plus the base, and two ball bearing combined is 1.92 pounds. That's exactly the standards of AMO. Now, you know to measure this, first of all, you want to find out it has to be 28 inches apart. So this line right here must be on 14 on this side and 14 on that side. Okay, very critical. You want to use this reference piece. See that? It's identical to the digital PAP system on it of the rollers. So when you put this piece underneath this entire unit, and you put the arrow on the unit. You make sure it's aligned perfectly and you put the weight. Then you turn it on. Whatever number you get means nothing. You zero it. Now you have a zero reference of this entire equipment based on this specific shaft diameter. After you do that, you hold the shaft, you remove this piece the support is now doesn't exist, and you can see it dropped. And you do not read the numbers. You pound it once, and that's the number of this unit. Now, you can also rotate it one more time, and bounce it another time. So you can pretty much tell this is a 400 spine arrow shaft, and that's how you use the digital gauge. Thank you.